And we're back. Welcome, welcome. Week two of June. Probably. Yes. Questionable. <laughs> um, schedule. Yeah. That's right. I make the schedule. Um, welcome back. This is second episode back after our break and continuing on with our like, what, what did we call it? Taboo month? You call the taboo. I don't know. Controversial. This, they all do have like some sort of similar theme ish. Well, it's questionable. Maybe the three of three of four do. One's a little out there, but um, this is like you show one half of this podcast. This is Lexi, the second half of this podcast, and we are once again joined by my best friend Kyla. Hello, I'm back. Um, <laughs> to read this book, which we this book and the last book that we read with um the last episode were handpicked by us for kyla to read <laughs> and talk about they curated both of these for me based on <laughs> tropes <laughs> based on my interest and desire <laughs> so this will be a good one i don't think we've read any have we read a contemporary reverse harem i don't think so not for the pop would would you consider the vampire queen? <laughs> no, not con- that's not a contemporary. That's a paranormal. The no, not considering the, the whole line. underlying tone is like they're vampires. Yeah, um, <laughs> but it happens in modern day, so is that contemporary? <laughs> no, this this would be the first contemporary reverse harem, and like, yeah. I, would you consider a reverse harem? I wouldn't even consider this. It's listed as reverse harem. Like I, I would consider this like obviously. This is a poly. Like this a po- is a poly. It's definitely a polyamorous relationship. But then, isn't that just, like isn't that what I mean? Reverse harem in is technicality. Yes, a reverse harem is. Although I guess in a, a reverse harem, you can have the woman having a relationship with each of them, and them not having a relationship with each other. I mean, they do. Most of the time, they do have some form of I, relationship with each I've other. I've read a lot no, where no, they no, don't. No. You should, I think her. you have, like, a weird understanding of what a polyamorous relationship no, no, no. is. No, no, no. I was because... saying that in some of the reverse harems I've read, I've read some that yeah. it's just her. I'm saying that, like, this is a poly because they all have a relationship no, I mean, together like, and separately. A poly relationship doesn't mean they're all sexually attracted or, Correct. Like, have a sexual relationship. Yeah. So, a reverse harem would still be poly. Be a poly. Because they have a relationship with each other. It's just not sexual in any way. It's It's just friends, I guess. It's more of like a platonic brother-esque relationship. So then is, okay, is, um, like, what was that fucking TV show where the guy had, like, multiple wives? That's not, Sister Wives is very different. Okay, so... That's not big, a big big love. You, the the show the HBO no, show Sister, big Sister love. Wives. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's the one. So I, then, why is that not Polly if they're friends? Oh no, pa- pa- that, you, a dip- there's different polyamorous structures of relationships. This is a um, like like a thruple in a sense, like definitely because they're all like they're all attracted to one another. They all do yeah. things separately, but together. Um, but not all poly relationships are like that. There are some where like yeah, like the the men don't have to necessarily be in a relationship with one another um especially if they have two straight men or um, like the women i guess like either or yeah depending but yeah in this case with be having two men and a woman uh but then both both the men in this in in, in this novel are uh bisexual so then and they're with each other wise is not about relationships it's about the man's control and that and more like he, polygamy versus yeah. polyamory so, then, so he feels like, like the inti- difference between polygamy and polyamory he feels then. entitled to have multiple wives rather than he wants like everyone wants to be in a relationship with, with each other correct yeah like, okay so with the yeah. women intent. don't like technically choose to be like i want to be in this this sister wife yeah. situation polygamy is like often rooted in this more like hyper traditional often like religious sense of like okay. yeah like that you have this patriarch who um is marrying multiple wives okay so oh, it's, gonna, it's but, a, but polyamory the sense of polyamory i mean like there, there could footing, be i'm assuming more equal rather definitely. than and like especially with, like, hopefully with ethical polyamory there's a sense of like everyone has their own agency and like everyone is out for everyone just wants to like share love love is, is expansive we okay. just want everyone to yeah be okay. fully autonomous and yeah I guess it makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I just was like, well, then isn't in like then that's just uh, what I'm saying. Like the they're polygamous. So that would that yeah, that's the term. Then yeah. wouldn't that be a version of no polyamory? Because but, polygamy mm-hmm. is illegal. 
yeah you can't marry more than one yeah in traditional po- polygamous polygamous sense no like usually po- like i said polygamy is often rooted in like this hyper like, like religious, religious, religious yeah like controlling okay. like patriarchal sense whereas polyamory especially am- like if you think about am- amor like love like rooted in like love and yeah. stuff and okay. yeah yeah yeah. Okay, that makes also, sense. Also, if you notice the reference of sister wives, they have all left him. So, <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't fucking follow the show. I just like, know of it. Yeah, because like it's on TV. But yeah, they like I I think he's only with the last wife, but the rest of them have left all him. Left. Yeah. Interesting. Anyways, okay. Back to this. Well, anyway, this is nothing like that. This is nothing like sister no, this wives. Is, this is not. I just yeah. was curious what the difference is. Like, if there was like an actual like if it was like a bigger category with like subcategories mm-hmm. or if they were like actually two different things mm-hmm. um so this is we're reading sugar daddies uh <laughs> by jade west probably should have started with that um and it's like main trope would be the polyamory mm-hmm. i would say mm-hmm. the mmf yeah um yeah the mmf threesome um, yeah the like the triad triad yeah um I have I mean, billionaire romance was the other one I had in here. What what romance? Billionaire. Mm. Oh yeah, because I mean, they're both fucking. They're, yeah, they're. Oh yeah, they're he was wealthy. like, I'll buy you this farm, and she's like, uh, I don't think I could trade yeah. my dream also, for yours. And age gap. Boss, boss, yeah, employee thing. Oh yeah, boss employee thing. That's Intern. true. And then also age gap. Yeah, yeah, this would be an age Between gap. Carl as well. is Rick also significantly older? I, I think, I think or Carl's more like I in his thirties. I thought significant. I think he was I thought like he was like thirty five or thirty six. Yeah, I read mm-hmm. it. He was like in his mid thirties. So Carl, like, but Carl's he's like still 42. like fifteen years older than her. Yeah. but Carl's like twenty. Yeah, yeah. So age gap. So as like, well. yeah, I did, I did, I I did see that he was older. Although I don't think it actually stated what mm-hmm. age um, Rick was. Mm-hmm. And Carl and Rick are bisexual. Yeah, so they're in a relationship be, with one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, supposed to be like LGBTQ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as trope. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a horse girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trope. Uh, yeah, that She's should a be a trope. Horse girl. Like, they go into be a trope. detail about yeah. the horse stuff. Like, they, like they like, throw in so much. Um, equine, makes me wonder if like if Jade West is she a horse probably, girl. She's or done her she research. Just grew up with horses. Yeah, or yeah. if this is like her there's doing no research. way. Uh, I mean, you could do research. Obviously, you probably just know could, a horse girl. Ask around, but but this is so detailed. I doubt. <laughs> I, I doubt, horse girl at its finest. I just yeah. doubt anyone who's not a horse girl would write a horse girl like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> is horse girl a common trope in in no. it's not, I don't even know. Oh, okay. I just thought that, it's that just was a common person that you've known one horse girl within your life. Everybody is my known sister. One. Yes, my, Catherine. If you're reading this, you'd love this book. <laughs> yeah, very horse girl. I also have. I mean, sugar daddies, I feel like, is a trope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I also have... I think sugar daddies is used very loosely in this because they, re- they don't pay it's, for a lot so of things. that's the... I do want to talk about okay, that. Okay, yeah. Because it's just basically they give her allowance. Like, which is yeah. which is a sugar daddy relationship. Yeah. But I, like, there's a... Yeah. I, I, we'll dive into that because okay, cool. like, I have comments you, on that. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Um, I also have... I feel like this is a trope that we should like list because some people will be like, if you don't know going in... Although, I guess it does say in the back of the book. I guess... We can read we the back of the book, the but book. I have two dicks, one hole. Like, oh, yeah. I think that's, that's like, co- gotta be that's, that's the core listed no as a intended. thing that people need to know because yeah. like, not that it, like, that's not everybody's fantasy. No, it's no. A very, like double penetration, but usually not in the same hole, yeah. hole, if you will. So we'll be saying hole a lot in this episode. I, I think like. that's, <laughs> yeah, I know there'll be a lot of, <laughs> <laughs> take a shot every time we say the word hole. Oh, uh, okay. I'll read the back of the book. Okay. Um, a sugar daddy website doesn't seem doesn't seem a sound basis for an A1 life plan, but I'm a small town girl with big dreams, and there's one advert, and this one crazy advert I can't stop thinking about. Two hot guys seeking their little miss right. Someone who can entertain them, amuse them, fit in with their corporate schedule, and sex. They want sex. Lots of sex. Bonus, right? One major dose of epic win. Of course, guys like Carl and Rick have their conditions. One being that they come together, or not at all. Hell, I can live with that. And there are no skeletons in their designer closet. None that I can find. Just two hot sugar daddies with with peculiar tastes. Nothing to worry about. Until Carl and Rick spill the big one. And that one that sends girls running. A whole string of them before me. Running to the hill without so much as a backward glance. Maybe I should run too. Thanks, but no thanks. See you around, guys. Nice knowing you. But I'm already in way too deep for this. 
And then there's a content warning about like it's the longest back of the book I've ever heard. That is back of the book. Um, there's a content warning, but like it's not really a content warning. It's just like this is like other Jade West books. What does it say? Uh, warning: As with every other Jade West book, reader discretion is highly advised. This novel contains vivid descriptions of MMF MM relationships, and Jade's characters, as always, have very filthy mouths. Mature readers only, please. Gotcha. I mean, yeah, I would mark yeah. this as mature. <laughs> oh yeah, it's filthy. This is, this is, a definitely a level up from praise. Yes. yes, for sure. Yes, I'm glad we're talking about this second because it's like as we discussed in the last episode, like praise is like, like it's kinky, but it's like level one, like tame kinky. Yes, like, intro it's, kinky. This is expert. This it's, is expert. It's level. also like praise was very much its project was to explain to the reader the culture of dom sub this is not nah. that's not this project of this no, book nah this the project is all the holes all fill yes. all the holes like this pro- like there was <laughs> also there was a fisting scene <laughs> yes <laughs> yes we should also I had to we can read that get to that i was like because i remember the i mean scene although of- if you're putting two dicks in i mean yeah. i guess you'd have it to was, start somewhere have yeah because i read this book a couple years ago so i suggested it for for when mm-hmm. Kyle was coming on, <laughs> you read this and a couple I, of years ago, and I remember, I remember the scene they were prepping her at when yeah. they were away, and I was like, I think there was a full fist, but I yeah, but I just I remember the toys obviously, and all the I, toys. When I was rereading it, I was like, oh yes, there's a full fist, there's here. a full fist, <laughs> yeah, yes. I mean, My although God. if you put in two dicks in one hole, like. That makes sense, especially because they emphasize how how much of a monster cock that Carl yeah, has. Carl like, has. But it's just like a really thick, cock yeah, cock. and like even yeah, both of them have pretty. Big so ones. like yeah. <laughs> mm. Anyways, I mean trigger warning. I guess like a so daddy issues. That's just the common daddy. Issues. Oh yeah, <laughs> lots of daddy issues. I have, I have, Carl's daddy issues. Uh, right. Katie's, Katie's daddy issues. Katie's yeah. the biggest daddy issues. She really lays it on thick. She really yeah. lays it on thick yeah. Very about referring bratty. to him as a sperm donor. Yes. That's probably, like, we'll talk about it in more detail, but my biggest qualm with the book is just, like, we get it. You hate him. Like, but it's just, yeah. like, she really, like, I mean, to be fair, she's him. also 22. Yeah. yeah. So, like... She's a bit dramatic. And she's, she's a, bit and dramatic. a horse girl. And she, <laughs> so she's, she's a bit dramatic. Girl. So, like, I'm not surprised. Yeah. But, like, yeah. This also had higher ratings than I was expecting it to. Really? It's good Although, <laughs> it's really good. This is so. This had a three point eight six. I was not expecting lower it. than praise. Yeah, mm. I was expecting this to have a three, like a because it, this is not. This is not for everyone. Okay, but so like, but one, the cover does deter people from not because that cover is absolutely terrible. Can someone just rework? Although that cover? it's also very clear what the book's about. It's very clear what the book's about. The, can I see the cover? You have, but over there? the. I'm gonna say this. This is not like a wily like goodreads best it's very recommended clear. yeah I, it could be it could be yeah it's, it's pretty clear it's to not lo- like the two lollipops thing. with their mouth open it doesn't it's, it's yeah, like clear it doesn't what come this book up very about. often on like recommended if you like this you should read this like i found it was like quite difficult to like how did you stumble across this then i don't know <laughs> i so honestly don't remember. it does have 26 almost twenty seven thousand ratings which i oh, thought was also pretty, really high but this high. is a very this is a very niche book. Like, this very is a, a very... Yeah. Or, like, I don't want to say niche book, but, like, the tropes are niche. Like, this is not a common trope. And this is a very specific... Like, the readers who search this out are very specifically into these tropes. Yeah. Mm. In a way that praise anybody could kind of read it. And it's not, like, too dom subby for the average person if you're yeah. not into that. This is, like... This this gets into it pretty quick. Oh yeah, and like they, I'm the, pretty sure that they do the two the two dick thing is like the second sex scene. Second, yeah, yeah. It was like they went 30, to Bright, it was like they went to Brighton. In. Yeah, which I loved. Which I'm just like, give it to me right away. And they did. Tell me, tell and me, they tell did. me what it's tell me what it's about. Yeah, <laughs> tell me what it's about. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, um, I just didn't think that there'd be that many ratings on this because this does feel like a very. But I guess like it's kind of like a dark romance thing where like within the actual community of the trope people recommend books and that's how you find it yeah. like you find it via those communities rather than like stumbling across it on something like mm-hmm. that's not as common mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so like i guess that's how it's kind of been like pushed around it also i would say it's, jade, a, it's also been out for a couple years now jade west 
and Sarah Kate have a very specific like type of book they write though Mm -hmm. like this is the kind of book Jade West writes Mm -hmm. so like you could probably read most of her catalog and get something similar Mm -hmm. I love the way she writes sex scenes it's very she was they they were good it was detailed this book was just very well written I would say I thought so I, I thought yeah. it was. I, I was like pulled in. Sex more. scenes are hard to write, and, and she did a really good job. It's funny because I came from um, the other book we will talk about later is the Mountain Man book, and yeah. then I went right into this one, and I was like, "Wow, the comparison is drastic." Mm-hmm. Yeah, even between I, praise because I read praise first, and then I read this one, and I was like, "Oh, the, like, when I read Trigger Daddies, I was like, oh, this is what I came for. Like, this is what this I'm is what I came <laughs> this for. is what I'm here for. This is exactly <laughs> yeah. what I yeah, exactly what you wanted. Yeah, and this book, so this book jumps between all three POVs. You no, get it's no jumps. Just, it's just, just Carl, just and Carl, and you don't get Rick. Nope, no, you don't get Rick at all. Just Carl, and, which is like and Katie. one of my actual, did I not notice that? Which yeah, is, uh, actually, one of my problems with the book. Is Why that, didn't like, we get I really Carl? Wish or don't Rick. I don't know. I really wish we got Rick. I've scene. never because Rick is like the anchor between both of them, and so I, I mean I agree with you. I wish I had Rick's perspective, but I feel like both of them love Rick, and so maybe that was the reason. I don't know, but like I, that's that, that actually I is like I an oversight. That. Yeah, I think if this was written like today, you would be getting Rick's perspective, even if it's just like a couple what of year chapters. I think it was written like because is it not often? Yeah. Yeah. I definitely read this a couple of years ago, as we'll know. Yeah, it's mainly... 2016. This is July yeah. 2016. Yeah, and it was surprising that if you're going to pick anyone, that it's Carl. But I guess Carl is, like, she, you have to, like... Carl has the, more the internal conflict. Yeah, like, whereas Rick is, like, buying in right away. Rick is, like, loves both in. of them right away. This is one thing that I have, just as a romance, like, the one tick I have against romance is, like, of course, in this book, the one the guy who has no family issues, who's just, like... I grew up with a really nice family. He's just a nice guy. Doesn't even fucking get a POV. Like, no. why is it that we always have to hear about the... You know what I mean? Like, why does everyone have to have a... Like, like the tormented... I, a backstory. Yeah. Like, why can't we it's, just have heroes yeah. that just, like, mm-hmm. had a really it's nice also, family and they have good relationships with their parents and, like, well, <laughs> we don't even hear from... I honestly didn't even notice that until you said it and you're right. We well, you don't hear from Rick at all. What? It's yeah. very much also Rick doesn't need to go through an arc in this book. It's yeah, like he's already maybe fully developed and like fully both there. Katie and Carl who need to like I develop. Guess so. I would be I yeah. just I would honestly want to ask Jade West why. Like why she is is it because the It arcs? probably because yeah. this book is already like four it's long sixty pages. It's long. It is a long book. And yeah. I think she probably wouldn't know how to sprinkle him in without getting off of the main plot, which was because any Obviously. turmoil that you see happening happening with Rick is because of Carl. the other two. Yeah. It's because of Carl or because he wants to keep Katie or because he wants to appease mm-hmm. Carl. But like, and you know, and so like anything that you see, like it's expressed through the other characters. But I agree. Like seeing like seeing a point of view of Rick would be interesting because he is just like, such he's like just a like lovely, an actually nice guy. Who yeah. Has no deep, Sweet, dark trauma. Funny. Like he's, yeah. just, he's like the perfect character. And like maybe that's it because it. Because he's written as basically perfect, like, where do you go from there? And, but then, and maybe it's boring. But to then have, also, maybe it'd be boring to have his perspective. But then at the same time, like, the average person I, doesn't have deep, dark traumas. Like, I yeah, I, that, I would. Is that true? <laughs> like, maybe I mean, maybe not, like, uh, not to the extent that, like, like this Carl book paints. Carl and Katie do. But, yeah, like, yeah, do. of course, everybody has, like, issues. Like, no mm-hmm. one's Yeah, perfect. I do mm-hmm. wish but we like, kind of saw his perspective in particular when... Carl was like, we got to, like, break it off with her or whatever. Mm-hmm. And his conflict of, like, oh, I really like Katie, but obviously mm-hmm. Carl and I come as a pair. Yeah. Even the even the scene what, even the scene where she wants to have sex with Rick and Rick's like, no, we can't. Like, yeah. Carl said, like, that's our rules. We can't do it unless we're together. Mm-hmm. They still Katie never was talked like, about that, though. That was, but that then was, they, but then they a, changed the rule. They didn't. Well, no, that I was don't, a, did they have a conversation? They, they did. did. Oh, yeah, they were they just. They were like, "Hey, like," and it was really lovely how they did it because, like, Rick came to Carl and was like, "Hey, I think we should talk about the fact that, like, maybe we should change this dynamic, this boundary, because, like, obviously, it, it's probably going to happen where we both are attracted to her. We, we both want to fuck. Also, oh, you guys have sex with each other, so why can't she have sex exactly. with you? Exactly. And so then, like, I like how they discussed it prior to instead of like it being a cheating incident because it could have been a cheating yes. incident, you know, and it was like or breaking a boundary but it was like no because when we got the scene in the office they called rick 
they called Rick, but that was because Carl was like, oh, I don't want to do this without Rick. And it was just like. But that was but one of the boundaries. They said, like, we have to call one another. Yeah. Steve, it's okay. And that was that discussed. Was one, like, yeah. And like Carl was still very hesitant. But Rick was like, I think that makes sense to me. Yeah. And then it just happened to be Carl that gets the first single sex scene with Katie. Nice. Which I guess makes sense, given that like Rick was like a side character. Basically. He didn't even get a POV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, d- I didn't even notice that. <laughs> but like, I this book took like such a turn from like yeah it's sugar a, daddies the first, to like like the first 30 percent is definitely very different than the, the last, last bit yeah because i like when you go into it you're like oh the conflict is gonna be something about obviously the land plays part of it but like her dream of being mm-hmm. like i of, didn't like, see the baby thing coming that was not yeah what i picked like i didn't really, i saw okay. it coming at the last minute like as as they were about to have the conversation i was like oh yeah this is what it's gonna be yes it was, but i didn't because have i it. remembered him saying earlier like at, like near the beginning saying like oh no i will be having children like i want to be a dad and then like and whatever and then it brought, yeah so i saw uh, like the thing with the baby thing is like when it was brought up i was like why are you looking for some money on a sugar daddy website if you like i felt like they're oh. a, they're like the way that they were like they, hunting they, they for were, this their third approach party. to having because they obviously they wanted someone in their triad they wanted a third mm-hmm. but the way they approached it i think was honestly like absolutely terrible because well also i don't know what websites there are for there are there are poly, there are, like, are poly i think websites there are and poly, apps. i think there are mm-hmm. poly dating apps even just like going on tinder and putting we come as a pair like i've yeah. seen that multiple times yeah <laughs> what yeah, yeah. No, oh yeah no, oh yeah on tinder there's like there's like the couple seeking yeah usually it's a unicorn that's kind of the, the the name for it but yeah yeah but like i feel like going through a sugar daddy website because it to me it was like yeah. that gave off the vibes that they were looking for a surrogate they weren't looking for a third yes okay mm. i agree because yeah because like there are poly websites and apps out there yeah. so why didn't they use a poly app and why are they using a sugar daddy app because those are different using this came out a few years ago right yeah, 2016? 2016 yeah so maybe this was like pre like you're right if it came out today maybe it could be approached differently but like maybe, maybe back yeah that is true because it would be 2016 but yeah because that that's, that's a good point because like w- even when like when carl was telling her and like and like said like okay no this is why and like her first thought was surrogate i didn't i didn't pick that up i didn't like i didn't get that thing right away but i guess i guess now it makes sense like because like basically i did like where this book started i feel like sometimes book started the wrong place and this book started the right place with her showing up at the house i thought that was like yeah just get mm-hmm. into it like mm-hmm. otherwise you have to have this like you'd have a dialogue of them and then her yeah yeah you get this There's like Pro- prologue at the yeah. beginning and then you like the book starts it's like no she's there up. like to to get paid and like do the yeah. thing and so then it's like yeah it's very clean and like right away this like is what that. it is yeah so like i was like okay this makes sense mm-hmm. they never really talk about like expectations though and i thought that was weird for like a sugar daddy thing like what do you mean like, like they're never like okay so you have we're giving you three grand like we expect you to like be here every weekend yeah like, yeah they said out. that but they didn't but then she was like okay so are we having sex and like no no like it's up to you and she's like but but you're paying me no to be but here. that wasn't it like that was the, the part of it was just like obviously sex would eventually come out of it but they obviously didn't want her to be uncomfortable and feel like a prostitute but they yeah, were looking they for a relationship her. not a sugar baby yeah which is why yeah. it was like their approach oh, to so this you're saying like, like they were really unclear they were really like yeah. you could tell like, they, they were, were looking for a were, relationship not a sugar baby yeah and they were clear in like i want you we want you every weekend um what else were they clear on oh we want like to come at the same time like there was yeah but then there was this there was this openness i um, think they i think because obviously rick was the one who like chatted to her first i think obviously he should have probably stayed at that from the very beginning we're looking for like someone to join our throuple we're not looking just for obviously a sugar baby that has like a a big separation between like she's not in a relationship yeah Mm -hmm. i think they want someone he should have right off the bat being like yes this is how it's gonna start and this is how we met but i would like to we would like to see if this is 
could progress into a relationship. An mm-hmm. relationship. And I, then I, I think, think that the, was the, unclear for a really long time. For then her. I think the baby thing could have came like it would have had a softer landing. It, and if they did wait the full six months, I actually think also maybe, if, let's be honest, though. Was six months going to make a fucking difference? No. No, no but if, Can if, you if she came in, if they came in, like, we want this to be a cup more of a throuple. Yes. Then just fucking... It wouldn't be as much of a shock. Yeah. yeah. If it was like, but, oh, they actually do care for one another and, like, they actually care about me. But then I think they tried to show it because, like, and this is why I thought this book, book did really right and, like, what surprised me because I didn't think it was going to do this was, like, they genuinely cared for her. They were genuinely, like, interested in her horse stuff. They were genuinely, like, like actually, like, cared for her well-being. And, like, the aftercare was really great. Like, they went on dates. And, like, I think that's what surprised yeah. me that I really liked. Um, but That's true. But I think, I think yeah, at the beginning you're kind of confused because it says sugar daddies, but it's actually they're looking for a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I think that – like you also Which some some sugar daddies do like Although, some like sugar daddy mommy things actually like they more want companionship than they do just want sex um but then i guess at the same time maybe that's the point of the book because katie in her pov she's also confused mm-hmm. by like okay you're my sugar daddies but then you want to know me you want a relationship you want me around all the time yeah like so maybe that was part like, of the it, project it of the book the- communication yeah. wasn't clear from the very beginning of what but maybe that was intentional wanted. because katie was like in katie's pov you also got that same confusion of mm-hmm. like what do they want from me yeah so like was it actually intentional or was it just kind of an oversight yes. also the thing is is like obviously carl is the one who want like rick says he can like he can wait a couple years for kids like he doesn't mind. yeah he's younger but carl's like i want a fucking kid like right now before i'm 40 I mean, you should fucking you should have started sooner, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> which yeah. is just like you, like what you're gonna date someone for six months and then you're gonna be like, yeah, can we start having a kid now? Yeah, so it is confusing. While he, it, while he's the most resistant to yeah. getting a new partner, but then he's it, he wants yeah. the kid the most. Also, it was like how he treated her like the first like couple times yeah. she came over. Very, he's kind just like very intimidating. Distant. Yeah, it distant, was just like, like what like. Obviously, he's the one that's trying to get the most out of this relationship. Also, but been like, very skeptical that it was going to work. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is just like if you didn't go into this like with an open mind, and this is not exactly what you wanted, just go to a fucking surrogate. Like, yeah, I was confused as to why they didn't go that route. Did, did they? Oh, because they said they remember. wanted they wanted to be a fam, like a, a th- yeah, like an actual couple, like, like, like a polyamorous. So like it couple. wasn't that so they like were had- everyone loves each other. I see. I want to like we have two dads. Like, I, like, obviously, I think so if they didn't find Katie. I think. And they would have really eventually kid, gone. Like, they would have gone that route. Okay. Because I, but then I agree with you. Like, like, I didn't think about that. Like, yeah. Why wouldn't they just go on a site? Like, why wouldn't yeah. they just like go on like instead of like yeah. hiring? And you know, though, like maybe this just like wasn't as common of a thing in 2016. Yeah. But then I don't know. I feel like yeah. I don't know. That would up, be up a for debate. Up yeah. Because like I I was shocked. I saw it coming as it was happening. Like when. When Carl was having the conversation with her dad about about Verity, I was like, "Oh fuck, I see where this is going. Like what? she's gonna show up at the office, and like as the other daughter." I forgot to clue into that. It wasn't until it wasn't until um, Katie went to go have a meeting with her dad as, yeah. that I was like, "Oh, as like, that's as, when I that, the Verity." Yeah. I was like, "I heard the name Verity before. Like, why didn't I?" As soon I as like that ha- that scene happened with the singing, I was like, "Oh fuck, I see where this I was is like, going." Well, when I read the name verity i was like why are all the fucking psychopaths verity because i read the colleen hoover verity book oh we should have added a carly a colleen hoover to this this uh like too late now but because <laughs> they're like it's such a controversial like carleen hoover books in general are controversial and it would have been good to like us re talk about them mm, so like we should have what did she write again she i've heard of her name it's still romance but it's all of her books root in like a, like abusive relationships like yeah, it's very messy like very mor- toxic very toxic know. morally gray relationships oh, i don't love that like like they're very like like i flame, don't where it's like i did we're toxic but we can't quite get uh, rid of each other i don't like those tro- i don't think That's i would like that but like yeah I'm a lot of them huge, have like i'm not a huge fan of calling sh- like he like the, the, they like the heroes and heroines have like massive trauma like not like normal trauma like mm. like huge like history of trauma Mm, they're very controversial and like some people think it just perpetuates this idea of like 
okay it's okay if your relationship is toxic like it's not that's not oh. the fantasy do you know what i mean like so it's is this gray area it's just like, so like there's a way. huge like divide in like yeah. just like romance community in circling general, back though, to sugar daddies we, sus- the we book digress that we are yeah. talking yeah. about um i yeah i thought i thought the sex scenes i wasn't expecting them to come so soon like i mean i guess i should have expected it given the fact that it was sugar daddy saying and then in the beginning she was like so are we having sex now i don't know yeah it was like the third chapter i loved it i'm so i did (laughs) i did like the fact that they were like and they were like oh she's going to bed and carl was like no just wait like leave the door open oh she's yes, gonna come I almost forgot. and i was yeah. like you know what and she's yeah. like so curious but at the same and just, like time, poking same. Him. yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah, Sam yeah. Have been, like, oh my gosh oh she went to the bathroom and it's like you have an ensuite she's like fuck you're right but at you're the same so right. time like you know what yeah, yeah. i would have that's also like how can you resist yes. like i get why oh they did i thought that was a, a funny <laughs> Like it showed their personality and her personality, and I thought it was—I thought it was really—I was mm-hmm. a fun scene. Yeah, it was a good way to like ease that into it. Yeah. As like a, they're all just so sweet together, and like that's what I ended up like loving about it is like they, it actually like really felt like a poly relationship, yeah. and like they just genuinely loved each other and like loved her, and like it was just like so sweet, and yeah. C- can we talk about our favorite scenes? Are we going to come back to that later? We'll come back. Okay. Because I. Um, <laughs> I don't know the dad. Let's talk about the dad. Oh, okay, stuff. yeah. Because she was very bratty about it. <sighs> yeah, I I kind of do understand where she was coming. Yeah, from. But she laid it on thick. Like but, she really was like so fucking. Yeah, and but I get it. And I get it, it. It's also like obviously when he just showed up one day and he was like, "You're gonna come into like you're yeah. you're just gonna fit into my." Or already Perfect existing family. family. Yeah. And then that family basically told her that she was unwanted and she was yeah. like, yeah, she's literally like a secret baby. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I guess it's another yeah. trope here. Like indirectly, like it's not the main, but like she, she is secret. the secret baby. Yeah. yeah. I like, I understand it. I also like the thing that bugged me also was the, like, she's allowed to have these feelings towards her about her yeah. dad. She's allowed to not like him. Yeah. But Carl was like, but I think he's a really good guy. And it was like, Carl, Shh. read the fucking room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's I like, He's the best man I know. Like, it's like, I okay. Understand. But then your relationship with him is very different than her relationship. But I think he just like, he needed to stop trying to push this narrative on mm-hmm. her of like, oh, he's a really good guy. And then she, but she was like, but he wasn't a good guy to me. And mm-hmm. he wasn't a good guy to my mom. And that's fair. So he's, not a good guy in Although, my eyes. Carl also did like he ended up Carl's Carl like big surrogate mouth. dad, <laughs> but also like he also knew the truth. Yeah. So like, or or what he thought was the truth, but and he, it ended up being learned, the actual truth because obviously because the truth because the truth because like yeah, the dad's the, the dad's side only, of the truth was like I never knew she existed until she was ten, which is the actual truth. But like yeah. you also have to take a grain of salt. Of the, it's one side of it's the one story. side of the truth. Yeah. Like, he obviously like, didn't so like go right away. But he to also her mom to be like, hey, what's up with this? But she but she no she the mom told him sh- she had an abortion. Yeah. Yeah. So but then it's also then let's talk about the mom and also how the mom is like didn't want didn't didn't want him in in her life anyways because she said she had an abortion but then at the end was like no you should go to your dad and like yeah. let him do this i think she felt guilty for like having it go oh. on for like like guilty for never reaching out to the, like to david and saying actually i didn't abort it you have a daughter she's yeah. 10 and like having it happen the way it did where he like literally like showed up well and was, like, i also fuck, think she saw because like even when she w- they had that heart to heart and she asked her like mom about like why didn't you tell me and she was like, I was really angry with him. And I think she started to feel guilty because she was seeing Katie be angry with him as well. Oh. And then she tried to like and force like she it. Was like, she then... basically thought she was forcing her anger onto Katie and not giving her an opportunity to know her dad. But then at that point it was too late because yeah. Katie's like 15 mm-hmm. and angry and yeah. confused. And like also it do- also didn't help because when he was David was explaining to Carl what happened, he like like wrote in guns a blazing being like i will take her away from you if you don't let me see my daughter like basically I mean, legal no. action of like i will st- i will i have the funds to take her and but then again like, like wouldn't you also be pissed that someone told you that you, you she had an abortion and just had like a like i get why i think i would be more like like obviously pissed because obviously you had a kid emotions are high like Mm-hmm. But I think I going it. in, being like, like going in and like n- not only knowing that she'd been a single mom 
and being like, I'm going to take your kid away from you. Basically your entire life. I'm going to take your kid away. Like I'm going to take it away from you because I have the funds and I have the family and I have the perfect little life here. And you don't. Yeah. Like, I don't think that that he, like, did he he actually do that? He fired, he fired Katie's mom as soon as, like, as soon as she got pregnant. And she, but he didn't know. But he didn't know. Like, he fired her basically when he decided to to go back with his wife. Because, because he was was pregnant pregnant with Verity. Yeah. Yeah. And they were born five days apart. Can we talk about Verity? Sure. That was another thing where, as far as, like, this and, like, I'll reiterate it later, but that was like my least favorite part of the book is like how fucking intense the hatred is. And I get it. It just seemed like they la- it, it was laid on thick. And what so like Ver- Verity being this like fucking like insane, like she is just so intense. And like they have like they had like that altercation in like, the bathroom. Legit girl fight like, like, with like hair actually, pulling and fucking slapping. Like, is that yeah. necess- like was that necessary yeah. to have like a physical? Like, I get like I get the name calling. I get the like the vitriol there. But it's just like, did you did they did- have to? Like, Girl? have a fucking... Yeah. I, I agree. Like, did they need to have a physical altercation? Yeah. The and I'm I like, get ah. supposed to, like, emphasize, like, the... the the amount of hate for one another but it's like the physical part i didn't i didn't i didn't get i also I didn't, I thought it was because what ends up happening is it comes full circle and katie has this like need to beat verity and that's how she makes a mistake and she crushes her leg and basically oh, like no she kind of got distracted with like no it was that she family. was like trying to she was like focused on winning and then like being distracted by the crowd but like i'm so close to being the time we have to make this jump and and she doesn't make the jump and then he lands on her like her oh horse lands gosh. on her crushes yeah. her leg but at the same time he hits the edge of a pit and smashes his two front legs and they break oh they don't no no God. no they don't break he doesn't they, have any, uh, no, no 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 they don't have any breakage on his part because he could stand but all of his and horse. he can support his weight but, but the tendons in one of his feet his, don't his, he can't he can't do his this anymore. tendons were all like severed but. severed and ruined <sighs> but they like he didn't break anything all that blood they talked about was her blood so he and he was able to like they obviously he was able to stand and which is why in the epilogue they were like verity is working really fucking hard to make it so he can compete again but they were basically like he's the vet's like he's gonna be lame for the rest of his life and i was like I just <laughs> yeah, but the vet. Is I little, just felt I like, feel the like the stakes. I feel the like stakes of the accident did not fit the stakes. I of the feel book. like the vet. <laughs> That's what I was I out of left field. I feel like yes. the vet was also like how insurance companies act when you get in a car accident. They're like, mm, it's going to cost a lot to fix it, so we should just dump throw the car out just Jesus. it's not fixable it's kind of like I that mean, like they're so, like oh to it's gonna fair, cost a lot of money to fix this horse neither so i think you should just get horse people so yeah, i you know what to be fair no. i don't know what it's like because they basically were like if he can't get up on his own like if he can't stand on his own we literally can't like we can't do anything he oh like a down horse to, that's to say a down horse is a, de- is a dead a horse, dead horse. Yeah. and yeah. that's so like to be fair we're not horse people none of us True. know how that's like I'm so definitely not like that could totally be an actual thing i don't know if that was actually dramatic or if that was a thing i the i I mean, it makes sense scene, if the horse can't move, then yeah. The whole scene was just that my like I didn't. It's not that I have a problem with the actual scene; it's the fact the scene itself was so at a left field. I just felt that the stakes of the book and the stakes of that happening well, they like, didn't need to happen. Like, it didn't what, need to happen. No, they didn't she need to have it, a huge accident and then yeah, the horse be like they needed like, to have her. Because okay, this is are we gonna get into my worst my like least favorite part is the fact that like she just i don't say she just kind of like gave in and was like i'm gonna have a baby like now at the end of the book because the reason she like right the reason she didn't want the baby at the beginning was like no my horse is my life like my, my yeah. i want to ride samson the rest of my life so they, so they had to, to fucking they have to off the horse that's so what so they had to like Fuck. basically they had to like take away her her like plan her like this is I don't think this is, this is the way to do it. Wasn't it. The it was way harsh. To do it, it was but harsh, I Jade. really just like didn't like how like she basically her dream was taken of like competing like she wanted mm, to compete like yeah, an equestrian put, com- like competition because like wanted, obviously training up another horse would be very difficult for her and mm-hmm. she and, put like she spent years training this horse yeah. for this reason knowing so, that like, she's gonna finish school and then this was gonna be her I didn't, and then it was like I didn't JK. like how like by taking that away because she could still have the school and she could still like mm-hmm. like the school and then like the training yard and just like 
she could have made the choice herself was yeah yeah it's like i really just didn't like like how it was like oh well that dream's done i guess i'll just have a baby now she's still 22 mm-hmm. i would yeah. if she was like 25 it's, 27 okay. it would be so, a different story but the fact it was really to appease like, carl's she dream did like say, it was, so because I, the accident happened so that the, the competition was in august when did she decide to have the kid in october it was, yeah like it was, it was before like, christmas because, though it, it was like winter the like obviously her leg probably took like at least six months to heal mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so it so would have like, to be obviously ha- like had to be past christmas it would yeah, have, it had have to, to be been. past his birthday it would probably be like probably like back in the spring yeah okay because i was like because she does come to the conclusion because they were together for at least birthday. three months this was like a three month thing and then she can't finish the internship. So and the internship turn, ends. Yeah. So it would. Ha- and then by the time oh, that she yes. tells them, it would have to have been like, like, I don't know how wounds heal. I don't know how broken bones heal. <laughs> it's so, probably like six months. Well, like she ain't no doctor. So <laughs> like a doctor. I don't know how long it takes to heal. She wouldn't have been able to like the scene where her and Verity are in the in the stables. And Verity's like, hey, I'm really sorry this fucking happened to you. And they have a, mo- a moment of like truce where they're like, OK, let's we're not yeah. going to be friends but we can we can try to be civil like we may not actually ever be sisters but we can at least be like family who like get along Mm -hmm. that would have happened three months post hospital release yeah so So they probably so because verity had also just finished the program because she was going into the marketing thing so So that would have been like like in the january yeah in the new year and then she decided after she was able to start walking, which would have been probably at least another three months post that. So like, you're thinking like April, May, I guess. Yeah, because like her thing was like. So uh, they like, would have been together a year? They had, yeah, probably around a year. Before she was like, they, I want to have a kid. I guess she was like, like I had yeah. a good, like a good talk with myself about like what I want for my family. And it was still like, I understand that. I understand. Because she like was like at the very beginning, she was like, I don't want kids. Like, yeah. Like I, I want my horse, and that's it. I mean, where it was you're like allowed sh- to change your mind. You're allowed yeah. to change your mind, but I really wish it was like I don't want a kid, like at the very beginning, and then at the end being like I'm like I do want to have your kid, but I would have preferred it if it was like a couple of years, like the epilogue. The horse of a wasn't made See, in the process. But the thing well. is, her reasoning was I literally may not be able to ride again because my she like so. Uh, the fracture they described is a tibial plateau fracture, which is like basically the the bones, like the part of your knee that comes together. Oh my God. So like her knee may not ever fully bend all the way again. Right. So like she may never actually be able to ride the same. Like she'd never be able to compete. She could ride, but it'd be casually. And yeah, but and she her, still has her like school that she. But like to, her thing is that like, that was like her dream. Like yeah. she was like every so, like, every like almost every other scene. She was like, I miss my I miss my baby boy. I want to go see Yeah, I want to go ride so, him. Like, I just want to ride him in the. I just want to ride him and all that stuff. So then like, she then came to this conclusion of like, okay, if I'm never gonna be able to ride the same again, I'll just have a kid. <laughs> like, that, like that's that's my thing. It's like yeah. I just wish it was like, like at the end with her like I want to have like I like her like thinking about family and what she wants from her family and what she wants in the future. I wish that was like later down the line, she would be like, yeah, you know what? Let's have a kid. And I'm open to having children now. Cause I want to have your kid, but I really wish it She's was like, like a I'll couple years right down away. because the road. what, yeah. what isn't weird to me is like, okay, so like there are tons of people out there who are with somebody for a year and then go, we're getting married. Mm-hmm. Cause like oftentimes a lot of that has to do with age. Like, mm-hmm. if you're older mm-hmm. in life and you're like, okay, now I'm ready to start my life and this is the person I'm going to do it with, whatever. But it was the fact that she just, like, did a full 180 yeah. of, like, mm-hmm. and then you she just, like, you casually didn't. stopped taking her birth yeah, control you, pills before she said to them. You Jesus. didn't really get her th- full thought process on it. It was kind of like a one page also, of her internal. She just went through something pretty traumatic. Yeah. Like, and then making this decision and then making a huge life decision of like i'm gonna give up this dream and not necessarily be able to ride again and know that i like literally maimed my horse like it was an accident accidents happen Mm -hmm. but like that's traumatic and then to make a big life decision just felt yeah like was she guilt-ridden by that like oh my god because she was like when it happened she was like you need to save this horse. Like, this is my fault. Like, cause oh. she gave him mixed signals. So he took the, tur- like the jump wrong and like, didn't shoot far enough oh. and landed in the pit. Ah. And that's what happened. Okay. So like, 
Yes, like I would say, but then you wouldn't you like if it was like that makes sense to me that she'd feel guilty. This, yes, like, this horse of was course. her life. But you're saying the rebound rate of her like yeah, but it was, also in, like, having such a traumatic thing like at least like six, seven, maybe eight, like even eight months of like oh, their like full just, recovery. Okay, I thought for, I remember from like the first time I read this, I thought there was like a full depression period she went through. No, when they got back to the house, I literally thought she went through a weird depression period. Of Twilight. And then I reread it, and <laughs> like when I read it for this, I was like, oh she no, wasn't I that was depressed. like, it, it was I, like hard. Yeah, and like she basically like moves in with carl and rick well they move she moved in before the and end. they like take care of her they move the bed downstairs because she literally she's in a wheelchair she can't go up the stairs so they move it to like the living room mm-hmm. maybe that was also the point of that scene too in terms of like th- them nursing her back to health in a sense and like she really showing their love she can't have sex because or she she can't move around during sex so they basically just like don't have sex she just like watches them have sex it's kind of hot though but like <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just thought that that was such a, like, the stakes in that scene ended up being so high. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, disproportionate. I mean, this like, she could have got injured, but she didn't need to be, be like, and like, yeah. Like, and like, it, like Samson could have also got a little bit injured too, maybe. Like, but like, what if he had missed the turn and she just like lost her footing and like sh- he was fine, but she had like been thrown. Yeah. And we got a concussion well, or something. Well, because they also needed to create and then there an been a moment between the dad and her and oh. by him saving the horse and paying for the savior of the horse. Oh. And then the yard was like, I oh, just I guess like, my dad's not an asshole. Because gotcha, he saved my gotcha. fucking, but then he at the same time, my, like, my, my <sighs> child here. I just, but that's, I don't know. I just felt like, because like, I didn't, as soon as it started, as soon as she started talking about this last jump, I was like, oh no, something oh, is going to happen. Coming. But I didn't expect it to be the horse landing on her, crushing her leg. And then the horse, the um, the vet basically being like, we can't get him up. I got to put him down. And then her hearing that and like hysterically crying. And the, the guys being like, I don't fucking know anything about horses. Like, what do yeah. we do? And like, as realistic as that was, I was like, what is happening? <laughs> we went from fisting to this <laughs> how did we get here this book definitely took a couple turns so many like how so did we many. get here and like maybe like because it went from like sugar daddy dynamic to relationship relationship to her working boss employee yeah like thing and, and then, through a lot of different and then it went to him wanting to have a kid like, and then huh? it went to her literally like her whole Almost. life just blew up in her face yeah. and i just Jesus. i i just like that was if i was her friend and i found out that she was like also she doesn't have a fucking friend like a, a talk to about friend but they, they did mention a friend but they didn't do they she didn't talk to this friend yeah because uh when she came home the first time with carl like went to her well, mom's place a- and she was like oh i'm here with a friend and her mom was like oh is it holly and she's like Oh, that's a friend from university. No, it's but a no, it's, it's like a guy. Oh, so she mentions one time she this random Holly that's person. Cause, and cause if, only- I, if this happened to me and I at 22 or 23 was like, I just had a major accident. Like I I'm maimed my myself. Friend. I maimed yeah. my horse. Yeah. That's and it. also I'm she thinking didn't, like, about having to, a child. She didn't of talk these to two anybody guys. about this. Like she literally like only voiced it out loud when she was telling them. I'm tracking my like period for ovulation and so, so then, we can have a baby. But can you imagine if I told either of you this, you'd be like, hold um, on. Oh, like, you wait would, a second. Like, hold on. Traumatic well, thing. You need to go to fucking therapy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You'd be like, and this was the same with the last book. When praise, we talked about this, like, yeah. like how like, she didn't have any friends and was making, and was just like trying it was to just her reconcile internally. His... Just her talking to herself basically. Yeah. And it's just like not realistic. Just, like, I, I understand. I mean, Cause this one, this book is, long it is okay. like an it almost 500 book. page book it is so this is a long book. trying to but even i think if there's some like, things that obviously probably could have been cut out or like her relationship with verity could have been different yeah the, the, honestly the bathroom fight scene so, i think i was I reading it i was like why so is this funny. i think that like, could have been cut because i was just yes. like why is this so necessary? necessary it's also like do we need to have the villain be a girl like, because let's be honest, the dad is never truly a villain because you get him from Carl's point of view. 
Uh, but so also, do you feel bad is for him? Verity really a villain? Yes. yes. No, yes. No, 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 because no, no, no. in both okay. POVs, she is considered she's a cunt. villain. Like she's yes. okay. like. Yeah. But so Carl is one. She's like, he, he's like, she's really annoying. She's a little brat. But also, he was like defending Verity to later, Katie. Though. Later. later, being like, like oh, after you know, after Verity probably... cried because she didn't like win, like she didn't get like those top sales or whatever. The, that little fight scene just like solidifies her as the villain they have a like physical altercation she scratches her in the face and then she denies it she's like oh it was nothing right um though she's definitely the villain but that was it. also like a like a bratty like she i read that as like bratty like she was a absolute i bitch. i read that all as like that obviously wasn't the first time very oh but yeah also, and after. they did say that like, they've had like Carl shit growing like, up katie why can't you just like give her a chance and i'm like bitch is she fucking physically like assaulted like, me? Not assaulted me. Physically assaulted her, but like from the age of ten onwards, like, basically you just told her get over it. that your dad doesn't love you and <laughs> he loves me more because look at all these horses he bought me. Look at all these dolls he bought me. Yeah. Oh, you don't have any dolls because you're poor and you're useless. So yeah, like, like she was an absolute country. I, like, that's why the was theory like, was the villain. Yeah. She was. She was a villain of this book. And like, yeah, like yeah, and like yes, you hear like after she cries like a little baby about like you know my daddy loves her more and like my dad was always like well, like um look at katie she, look at katie and it's just like you know what she's literally she's poor she's dirt poor you have all these things like like katie's just like sorry not katie Verity's just like this is a spoiled brat and i have no sympathy for and her and she does have a character arc she does yeah. like attempt to like patch things with katie and like yeah. obviously there's a lot of history there but like this book makes verity the villain for a very long portion of the book. Mm-hmm. Like, Verity stops being the villain when she takes over the care of Sam No, yeah. I think Verity stops being the villain when she tries to... Not in Katie's POV. Not in Katie's POV. Well, yeah, in Katie's POV. Remember when they were about to go to the horse race and she was, like, trying to give all of branches and, like, when, like, Katie was, like, like, performing very well and Verity wasn't, she was, like... Le- like sending some olive branches to be like hey good job but in katie's mind it was well, still katie's mind, she also really fucking hated the like she also thought her dad was being manipulative shit mm-hmm. as well so it was I'm, like see, but and, it makes sense for katie to be defensive it I'm makes sense saying, in Katie, katie's perspective then both her dad and verity are the villains yeah i'm not well yes but i'm not saying that like that we're just making it in Katie's POV. Verity is, is meant yeah. to be, she's written Correct. as the villain. I really don't think there's a villain. I really don't think there's like I'm saying, no, but what the I'm big bad to... guy. I think it was just that like, like I don't, I wouldn't label I mean, Verity yes, as the villain. Like, I don't think the book, because this book one, is that Verity's no. the villain. I just think that like, she is the bad guy in the, the, in of this, the book. Like of, if they had to, if we had to pick one, like a foil in the book, bad like, guy, it would be Verity. Yeah, and I'm just saying that she has no female friends, and then the oh, only, only bad female. guy is the fucking other female in yeah, this book. And her sister, yeah, yeah, that's that's tough. And I just hate when that happens in books. Yeah. Like I just, and again, she has no friends, and she's no friends. Kind of like, how realistic is that? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just, yeah, I just was, and very... then her whole life again, like, revolves around these two guys yeah you know and, and it's I, just like, I didn't hate this book i liked this yeah. book i think more than praise yeah me too because mm-hmm. this felt deeper yes it has more had more heart to it it had more depth yes. and like substance and like yeah and and like it has this like really good combination of like being raunchy but also being really like caring and like loving and yeah. like intimate and they actually like yeah like we're there for her pleasure but like yeah. i just yeah there i have like very specific like Mm-hmm. red flags gotcha gotcha what do you want right. to talk about next shall we get to is do we go over our worst part or yeah, i went over my worst part okay, so you so you said your least favorite part my okay my least yeah. favorite part is the fact that the yeah the, the the stakes of that accident did not fit the rest of the book like there could have <laughs> been a way to do that well, it's a to accomplish the same balls thing balls crazy with the stakes it- <laughs> I just, yeah, I just felt like that was so out of left field. I was like, oh my God, this horse dies. I'm going to be pissed. Like, yeah. I'm going to be actually pissed. <laughs> Fuck. My least favorite part was, again, just like how, like, oh, the, the amount of the times. Bratty. Well, the amount, no, the amount of times that, like, 
Katie called her dad a sperm donor and like it's blank space and like he, I, like she was just like I get the anger I get I understand it but it was just so thick I was like I get it I get it you're angry I get it like let's just like chill for a second like it just, she makes it her whole personality that she fucking hates this guy and I'm just well, like also, yeah she does kind of make it her whole it personality. does yeah. there are sections that are just like okay we get it but there are it is also like it's like it's like warranted to an extent I just don't need but to hear, I, just, I don't need to I hear about know. it every if chapter it was like yeah. if you didn't like a person and then someone came up to you and was like because it was always with Carl it was never yeah. with anyone else that she was like had these like thoughts about her dad mm-hmm. it was always him trying to fend her dad yeah no I guess and that. H- her being like defensive on her anger being like my anger is warranted yeah and I'm gonna double down on it that's fair that's fair to extent. I just like think it was too much. I think it was yeah. too much, and she could have like it. It was just like annoying. <laughs> just reading my notes. Yeah, this is a totally separate note that's like not related to my least favorite part. But okay. fucking Rick and Carl are the stupidest fucking names. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. Carl. When I started Carl, reading Carl. this, I was like, of Rick, all the Rick fucking is fine. hot Carl. names. Like and then when he was Fucking like Richard call. and I was like this is not that's not doing it for me like Rick, Richard does it for me more than because Rich Katie. Dick Rich I Rick, guess yeah but, but like Carl Rick and Carl I was like also Katie Smith get out <laughs> get out get <laughs> that's out that's what I mean Sorry. like that was the one thing that like I instantly within the yeah, first chapter I, wish... I was like Fucking Rick and Carl are the names you come up with that's like really funny no don't get any wrong. Ricks or Carls out there but, but don't also... get me wrong like yeah do I want to hear like. But Knox it's better and than, like yeah like it's better no than, but like i, I like how rick they're and like, carl come on pick they're their like names. Names. but i did like when i read carl like the name carl for the first time i was like fucking carl <laughs> <laughs> but, like, maybe that's the point like maybe they're supposed to be like two average guys who just also no but no they're like ripped they're like gorgeous and yeah. ripped but you know, so like but, I just was like of all the and names they're billionaires they're, they're not like run yeah. mill f- folks like, yes like I was just like, what yeah. the fucking names are these? Oh, man. <laughs> it's the first note that I've written in my thing. Was I was like, funny. Rick pick Carl, better names. Mark. Pick better names. <laughs> what was your least favorite part, Lexi? Did you it say? Was the, the, like, pregnancy. Like, oh. No, the flip, ready. the complete flip-flop. Yeah. So, like, okay. my dream's dead. I'll just have a kid. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't think that baby's going to fill that void of writing. <laughs> of writing yeah. Horse. Okay, what's your favorite part? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> circle back to me okay, okay. i want to go you want to go i'll okay, go my favorite part was the fucking the scene where she takes okay i guess there's <laughs> i think they end up back to back i think this scene ends up like they the so the, the one scene where they're like in the kitchen mm. and then rick's fucking her and carl's mm-hmm. fucking rick and i was yeah. like yep okay yeah, that was and they had the mirror and he put the mirror and then put them. the mirror there and uh. then i think the scene like that scene carries over into them both fucking her um i don't think so i think it ends there do they go to the couch after they go upstairs they yeah go i up- think they go upstairs but i don't know I don't if it's that. like or in the switch. same hole i think it's like no no double penetration. double penetration that was yeah. the kids because oh. my favorite scene like my favorite sex scene is the two like one like both holes are filled Oh, and when it, is it, that? Like, it's one mm-hmm. continuous scene. Like they have sex in the kitchen, where like Carl's fucking Rick. Rick I don't think her. it was the scene right after that. I think it was a later scene. I, you think, is I'm, it? I don't because I don't. You're like I would that. remember that. I would remember that. Yeah, I don't think the so. double penetration scene. Not the like two dicks one hole, but like one in the ass and one in the. Oh. I was like, yep, yeah, this is this is a good. This scene. is what I came that for. That was my favorite. Yeah, that that's, was like that's what I usually came for. <laughs> because instantly when you see, okay, this is a. a poly relationship the guys are into each other they're into her mm-hmm. i'm anticipating a double penetration scene yeah and not the two dicks one hole like that was a little like sideways for me where i was like yeah. okay like i see this but mm-hmm. it's not what i'm here for i'm here for the double i didn't penetration. think i'd be into it the two dicks one hole until i was into it like i, I was I, was, <laughs> I don't know and then i was reading i was like okay yeah no i get it because <laughs> you get to the fisting part and you're like okay uh mm, okay uh, I, I liked the way they they like slowly did it because i think like another book so much more realistic book could have easily just been like we're rammed shoving, it in we're shoving but they were like yeah. no and like and so that's like my favorite my favorite scene is them going to brighton and like it starts with them and the dance floor like the dance floor scene i was like ugh, like yes like that's yeah. my dream and then and then they go back and then it's like they're slow they're teasing her they're like making her come first and then they have all the dildos and then it's like one dildo and then two dildos and then like and it like yeah. works its way up 
and so that's that's my favorite scene is like, is like the build up the and like it's like making her really relax into it because that's realistic yes. to what this needed and to happen the way that it's described is good yes like she exactly. describes the feeling of having two dicks inside her yeah it's very and like that's, that's where the bruised cervix oh the she says day. bruised cervix like i can just the words that. like fill fill and like whole and like like stretching and like gaping like that it gets repeated a lot in this book yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes um yeah yeah okay that doesn't surprise you that that's your favorite scene. <laughs> yeah it was just and also the the idea of like um yeah the two dicks inside of her and just like because like all the feeling and like their dicks are touching obviously and yeah it's just very good i also like there was one part of one scene also because like we talked to, we, before we started recording we talked about like there being a, a breeding kink aspect to it because yes. they both like come inside her and like back to back and that also does it for me so I was like yeah. oh yeah but also oh, yeah because at the, cause at when, the after end after they decide to like, have a baby I can't like the the like the dirty talk he like in particular Carl was saying at the end when she was like I want to have a kid I was like this is what a breeding kink is like mm-hmm. this is like yes. he's gonna like can't wait to see her all swollen with like his baby. Her up. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of thing. That's what a like that is what a breeding kink is. That's why. I was and like, like the, that's true. At the end, when she was like, "Okay, I'm fertile. Like you might as well just both put it in me. Like one after the other together it doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Like both of you just fill me up." Yeah, I also liked there's certain parts of certain scenes where like um they're like going at it, and she's like, "I want to watch you guys kiss." I'm like, "Oh," because I was saying to you too. Yes. Like I've never. Um, personally or in um, reading the books I was like I've never been interested in like a like a two threesome guys, with two men girl. and I'm just like I don't know like it seems like a lot of testosterone like it seems like I'd be overtaken no, and the way this other. book does it is like no they're so into her and so into each other and it's like the idea of like them like worshipping her and like each one's on her tit and I was just like yes okay now I know what <laughs> I, I want to add this. to my bucket list okay good to know <laughs> okay what was your rating um Four out of five. Four. Yeah. Four. yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's funny. I have this as a three, but I feel like I feel like I'd probably give this a four. Like I don't think it's a three. I don't think it's a f- quite a four for me. I think it's like maybe like a three okay. and a why, half. Why 3. Is it not quite a four? Why is it not quite a four? It's to be honest. I was completely. Is it the horse thing, the horse thing at the end? Jarred by that scene. <laughs> like I was completely. I was like here for it, and, and then it went. Like, what the? It fuck? went so other side i was like i don't know how to feel like i feel i feel like i want to cry for this fucking horse like that was, scene was like actually really hard to read oh, because the, they, the vet was like actually like we got it like basically like we got to put it down she's screaming it's in carl's pov and he's like and carl's like well we gotta help i gotta, we gotta get like we up. gotta get this fucking horse up like if this horse dies we're fucked yeah and like it's like and you and you hear like because the accident happens in her pov mm-hmm. so you you like she all flies the details. you have the the horse land on her and i was like i i was like what is ha-? i was like it was, was actually too much, too much. Uh, i was like this fair. is just so jarring for me thing is is like this book is so well written but i was like this is not what much. i came here for yeah. and i'm so confused True. on how to feel gotcha gotcha that was that's honestly my main so i i wouldn't that's give this fair. quite a four but like on Goodreads, I'll round up to a four, but yeah. I'd probably give this like a three and a half to a three point seven five. Gotcha. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, steaminess five. Five. It's gotta be five. How is it not but five? But this, no, no, no. I agree. This is okay. a five. But this, I also wouldn't. Would you categorize this as erotica? This yeah. has a pretty strong plot, though. And no, I wouldn't categorize it as erotica. a lot of eroticas don't, don't like have don't no have plot. plot. Yeah, it's just it's, it's true. So like this has like a legit plot. So like I wouldn't quite categorize this as erotica, mm. but it definitely toes the line. Toes the line aspects. because I think if the back half wasn't mostly plot, then yeah, it would be. But because and maybe like, that's why she put it in there, like to, to help keep it in the romance I don't category. Know, the middle section with her working in the office was like actually. I do have to say the office scene. I was like this. As soon as I realized they were working together, I was like, "There better be a fuck at the office." Yeah, like, yeah. there has if, to if be. There I, is, there I'm going to be. I choked. do <laughs> wish it was like in his office rather yes. than like the, in that this is, open cubicle. That floor. is what I, <laughs> I did think about that when it was happening. But I was like, I was like, what if it, they what, don't fuck the in this office? <laughs> I'm like, going to be pissed. Because the thing is, <laughs> yeah. you're never like the last two people in the building. It's always you're like, actually what you're never what actually tease the that last would be if it was like this is her boss and they didn't fuck in the office. What a tease that would be. Yeah, I was okay, like, good. they better fuck in this office at some point because yeah. there was like hints of it where they were like, ooh, we could, but we shouldn't. 
And I was like, they better fuck this they, office before they the better, end of this because, like, I'd be so disappointed if there's no mm. office sex. I love that trope. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say it's a five. I would give this a five for yeah, steaminess. It has to be. Um, all the holes, all, all the gaping, all, all of the, the, holes. All the stretching, the fisting. I I feel like. If you throw fisting in there, you're getting five out of five. <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Not. Actually, you, had deep, though, you, had, you had DP and fisting. You're how definitely. Do you, how do you not have a five out of five if there's fisting? Like, yeah, I just don't see any way in that, be. like, wouldn't. Like, there has as, to be. If you have fisting and it's not a five out of five, that book then, is, like, like that's I the don't only even know what to say. There's only sex scene in it. If it's just one fisting scene. Say. Can you imagine? That's all it is, Jesus. is fisting. Anyways. Yeah. I really liked it. I will probably read it again. <laughs> yeah okay i who do you, who do you like better do you guys like carl or rick better? i like rick it's hard right yeah. it's probably uh, hard not- well okay well, see i it, think i they both have their like i feel like okay i feel like i like carl but that's because i get more of carl yeah. I, but i feel like if i had gotten rick pov i probably would have liked rick more mm. yeah uh, yeah but i mean i it. feel like if it was just like you're meant to like carl if more. i was like dating okay, these yeah. two i would gravitate towards rick over carl i would want but... to but i would want to date rick but i want to fuck carl i mean more. that's kind of the point but also like... rick's tongue ring every time he said his tongue ring i was like oh yes <laughs> see but like if i was if this was me and i was dating both of them i would probably gravitate towards carl oh mm-hmm. interesting not rick okay like that just like i don't know the first couple scenes like obviously like later in the books he's very different but like the first scenes where he was basically like i don't want like he basically acted like he didn't want her hit there yeah that I was annoying be like, no i that was would annoying. 100% be honest gravitating about towards the guy who wants me yeah but, but they were honest about like you know who carl's like hard to warm up like he is a bit of a tough cookie but like once you get to know him like he's great <laughs> I mean, that's I. I don't know. I don't know if I would re. If I reread it, I would stop at the horse thing. I don't think I'd finish the book. I think I'd only reread it up until that point, and that's then fair. I. I wouldn't read the ending because there isn't that much like sex. I mean, you know that at that point, you kind of see the What's ending happening. coming. You kind of also know that this book is going to end with a baby. Like, let's mm-hmm. be honest. You kind of mm-hmm. know. Yeah. I don't think I'd read the last part. You don't. I don't. Yeah. Because. I'd only read it for the it's first like, half. It's like that. It's like it's like that. Um, there's that website that's like, did the dog die? Oh, if yeah. this book, I I honestly like, yeah. You were the, the you horse. Were, scene, you were mortified. I hey, was fucking. I was like, I can't. I don't like the like. The animals better be fucking happy the whole time. Like yeah. I can't do Shit. that. That is not for me. Like yeah, I was Fair like, uh, no, that was. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I'd reread this whole book. Fair. That's fair. I, I mean, I've reread this, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, my God. Okay, wait. So you both... Oh, you both give this a four out of five. Yeah. And then I give it a five for steamy. Yeah. And well, that's what we'll put. Um, would you recommend this? I mean, I did recommend this. <laughs> <laughs> See? Okay. So I have yes but conditionally like yes, i would not recommend this yeah, to everybody obviously this is not like entry level <laughs> yeah entry level stuff i would yeah i would be like yes but i would like with disclosures disclaimers yeah i would just be like yeah but just so you know how do you feel about fisting how do you feel about fisting, <laughs> <laughs> fisting. that should be in <laughs> the good read reviews of should I read this book? Mm, how do you feel about fisting? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> What's your yeah. take on that? That's yeah. it. Just, yeah, simple yes or no. Because <laughs> I didn't, I did, I do want to say though, I, that scene could have been more jarring than it was. Like you read through it and you're like, hold on a second. Is he fisting? Yeah. And then you have to yeah. reread it before you realize it. it's not like, I like and he subtle. shoves his fist in there. I like, like how it's subtle. It is subtle. Because I think it is, doesn't go like the one finger is two fingers, four yeah, fingers. Just and then it's just like, fingers. and th- yeah. then it's fist yeah. and then it's like, dildo two dildos mm-hmm. and then it's like dick plus a dildo it is a and little, then it's, it's two like dicks. a little a little how-to guide how to take, <laughs> how to take <laughs> two dicks, dicks. Of, it's like taking this notes is... as i'm reading <laughs> no not quite too old not quite not quite not quite that's intense that's a lot <laughs> maybe we'll talk about it um anyways <laughs> thanks for the recommendations guys <laughs> you guys know me really well <laughs> i was reading both of them both praise in this and i was like okay yeah okay, okay yeah okay yeah <laughs> okay any last words? No. <laughs> I feel like we said all we have to say. Yeah. 
Uh, a lot of things were said. <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of holds. A lot of things. A lot of a lot of dicks. A lot of dicks. Shit. <laughs> so next week, uh, Lexi and I are reading. It's going to be an interesting episode. I'll, I'll we'll put that out there already because it's a very. I recommended it s- for the plot. Like, let's be honest. There was no plot. No, 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 no. Would for you recommend our this plot, to me? would you recommend like, this to me? You'd hate it. I would hate it. You would hate, hate it. it. I don't think <laughs> you'd finish. I literally told Aisha, I was like, is it okay if I did not finish I was like, you have book? to finish it. You For the pod, you have to finish it. Okay. I literally recommended it because- That was the one I did at the Be Real for. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember. It was uh, like going to be, like, it's going to be a conversation. I feel like we'll be on the same page, but it's going to be an interesting one. So <laughs> stay tuned because it'll be, it'll, it'll be hot takes. A lot of hot takes. Um, Is it really a hot take? I feel like it's universally. Yeah, potentially universally, but like, it'll be interesting. Stay tuned. Um, Otherwise, uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Send us book recs. We're currently setting up book recs for August. I don't think we've got anything for August just yet. We haven't done July. We're almost finished July stuff. Um and we have a patreon so join our There's patreon become our patrons patreon. and um otherwise uh we'll be back next week bye, bye.